Hello, Bill and Christine here with a trail ride into the Alpine Lakes Wilderness in Washington's Wenatchee National Forest. Our guides today are Mike and Susie Drugas from nearby Yakima, Washington. This ride begins at the Deru Campground on the North Fork of the Tianaway River. We rode directly out of the campground up the Iron Peak Trail. Iron Peak Trail is a very steep switchbacking trail. I don't know how many switchbacks. Uh, I, I was going to try to count them and lost count. You want to be sure that your horse is legged up pretty good for this switchback and climb. It does offer tremendous views like back up into the Esmeralda Basin as you see here in this photo as well as sweeping views clear to Mount Rainier. You see here in this segment of the video that Shiloh's working up a pretty good sweat. He's bringing wet right in here, but he's in pretty good shape and there was no quit in him on this run. Now directly below us behind me in Shiloh in this area is the Daru campground down on the North Fork of the Tianaway River. The trail steadily switchbacks up the backbone of the Wenatchee Mountains until it reaches a saddle that lies between Tianaway Peak, which is on our left as we approach the saddle, and Iron Peak, which is out of view off mm -hmm. to the right. Yeah. Once reaching the saddle, you're rewarded with fantastic views across the Beverly Creek drainage over into the hard scrabble creek area where you see the small spike of a thumb in the video over across there which is where we're headed. Whoa. Can I see that that tooth? Yeah. That's where we're riding to. Okay. From the saddle, we took a small side excursion towards Iron Peak up to the top of a knob where we enjoyed 360 degree views.
After enjoying the views, we then begin the descent off of the saddle down into the Beverly Creek drainage where we took the Beverly Turnpike Trail over towards the Fourth Creek Trail. This portion of the trail is dominated by Bill's Peak. This is a little interesting side note here. Bill's Peak was named for Bill Prater, who was credited with the first ascent of nearby Argonaut Peak and Sherpa Peak in 1955. In December of 1960, um, Bill Prater, along with his younger brother Gene and two others, were making a winter climb of this peak. As they neared the summit, they triggered an avalanche which swept the Prater brothers down slope. Bill was hurt pretty good and required a rescue team to evacuate him. In the early 1970s, the Prater brothers, they created the modern aluminum snowshoe and sold them for many years via Sherpa Snowshoes Company, which was very popular. Hey, this is the worst place on us, Shy. The worst place on us, buddy. Good boy, Shy. Good boy.
Susie, I wouldn't pick between the two. I couldn't. Probably, if you may force me, it would probably be this one. But the, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick if, unless you forced me to. <laughs> He'd probably say he'd like to go. 